hey guys what's up i am back today with a mommy video and this is going to be a what's in my diaper bag video and this is my diaper bag which actually looks way bigger on camera it's really not that big but um yes if you've seen my what's in my hospital what's in my baby's hospital bag you'll see that this is a new diaper bag and this is the honest company diaper bag if you guys haven't heard of honest company it's a brand by jessica alba and all of her stuff is um like she does uh diapers which are organic diapers um everything is like natural she also has like cleaning products and of course bags this is 100 percent vegan leather <laughs> my baby's right there so if you guys hear coughing and the soft lullaby playing she's in her swing so that's what that is but um, yeah, so this is the bag and it is a pretty pricey bag compared to my other one. My other one was only like $30 off of Amazon. But I will tell you guys, this is 100% worth the every penny that I spent on it because it's a durable material and it's very sturdy. And you can tell that it is going to hold up throughout the year. So I don't plan on switching out my bag anymore. I feel like this is going to be it for me. Um, I'm gonna use this until I don't need a diaper bag anymore and even then I probably still will use it just I mean, it's a beautiful bag so you can use it for anything you can use it for work You can use it for school if you're in school or it's a multi-purpose bag But it is the main purpose of this bag is a diaper bag so this bag retails for $149 and like I said, I know that is very pricey, but it is worth every penny so I'm gonna just kind of uh, walk you or show you the bag in the bag and then do like a little review and then I'm gonna show you what's in it. So the bag itself, it looks very big on camera but it's not that big. It's actually the perfect size. As you can see, it is pretty slim. It's not very bulky at all, which I love. The bag, you have some padding shoulder straps which are very comfortable to wear. Um, and it is padded like I said so it's a matte black vegan leather and it has gold hardware and I don't have the dimensions of the bag but um, I'll try to find a link and put it below so you guys can see that so in the front you have two pockets this pocket down here it's like a little pocket that's about this deep and this is like my mommy pocket where I keep like either my phone which sometimes I struggle to put in because it's an iPhone 7 plus so it fits it's just kind of a snug fit and then whatever lipstick I'm wearing for the day so today I'm wearing the bite beauty uh, lip lippy stick now I can just throw that in there or if I have like my keys so usually I don't keep my keys in here but um, I actually oh sometimes if I'm running out and I have my headphones I'll throw those in here as well and then the top zipper here is what sold me on the back at, by looking at the bag just by a glance you would think that this is one pocket and this is one pocket but actually the pocket up here runs from here all the way to down here and what sold me on the back is that it is insulated from top to bottom that whole pocket so I'm using the event uh, natural feeding bottles which as you can tell are wide bottles and I can fit three of them in here perfectly they fit just perfect and they fit to about right here and I have the longer version of these which hold I believe 9 or 11 ounces I'm not sure and that fits perfectly up to the top and um, they're not too snug or anything they actually fit just right so even if you don't have bottles like when they get older you can throw in a sippy cup in here that'll fit some snacks that need to be cold that will hold it as well um, I have thrown in a frozen milk storage bag in here and it has um, it holds up pretty well up to six hours and it's thawing out just at the right time so um, that is a really good point on the bag that sold me on it and then on the inside here is just one zipper that goes from side to side one downfall that I wish the bag had um, I wish it had a like a water bottle holder on the side you'll see that the bag does not have that but you do have the insulated um, pocket in here and then it has lots of storage on the inside so we're gonna go ahead and just jump on in so I can show you that part so looking at the bag on the top you have one pocket like a slip pocket here 
and this is where I keep my diapers. I try to keep 10 diapers in here at a time. Um, no more, no less. And then it has a key fob where I will strap my keys in here. What's wrong, Mama? What's wrong, Mama? Get over. And then aside from that, there's a zipper pocket where you can put phone in here or whatever um, you want. And then it's kind of hard to tell, but then there's like little slip pockets in front of the zipper one. So after this uh, pocket here with the diapers, it's the main bag. And in here I keep my changing pad, which is just a Similac, um, is, is it Similac or Infamil? An Infamil um, changing pad that I keep in here. Now this bag does come with a changing pad, but I think I got like a default bag or something or somebody took it out because it was not in here and I didn't notice until I was home. It's not a big deal. I mean, kids grow out of these changing pads very quickly. So it's not that big of a deal to me. So I'm just using this one. And I always keep a burp rag and a bib. The bib she's actually wearing now, we just came home. So she's, she's wearing the bib that was in here. Um, you always wanna make sure you keep a burp rag just in case they spit up or anything like that. And then I keep my wipes in this cute little Huggies clutch, which keeps them very, it doesn't dry them out at all. So that's a very good thing and I just love how cute it is. So it's, it is refillable. You can just pack in your wipes that you want um, as you go. So I'm using the Target Up and Up brand wipes in the sensitive kind. And I don't know if I mentioned, but the diapers that I'm using are the uh, Pampers Swaddlers and she's a, wearing a size two right now. Then the next thing I keep in the main bag is this little Pampers bag that I got at the hospital when I had her. Um, and in here I don't keep much. I just don't want things. these things just, there's not really a pocket to put them. Um, and there is, I just feel like they fit a little awkwardly so I'd rather just have them in their own little pouch and I know what to pull out when I need it. So in here I keep a bulb syringe. You guys know how handy these are. I know lots of you guys enjoy the nose Frida. I haven't tried that just yet. I haven't had the need to try it yet. She really hasn't been sick. Um, I just used this like the very few first days that she we brought her home. She had a little bit of a runny nose. So this helped um, a lot with that. We keep some Destin, which is just some uh, diaper rash cream. This is very important. And I also keep some nail clippers in here. This is just a spare. I keep one in uh, next to her crib and her little organizer and then one in here because you just never know when their nails get very long and they might scratch themselves. That's when you know it's time to clip those little nails. And then in the back of the bag here, there's a zipper that leads in to the bag. And if you turn it around, there's like one little compartment, hidden compartment way in the back and it goes all the way to the back of, to the bottom of the bag and this is where the zipper leads into. So back here, I keep my wallet. Whenever we go out, don't take a purse. I just throw my wallet in here. Um, this is just my Vera Bradley one. And I keep it in the back one because I feel like it's closest to me. So I feel that it's safer back there. And if I need to reach for it, I can just unzip this back here. And I know I can just pull it out instead of trying to dig through the whole bag. And then I always keep two uh, outfits on hand. Just because, you know, kids get dirty. They spit up. Babies have blowouts. So you have to always be prepared. I live in Houston, so our weather is very unpredictable. One day it can be cold, one day it can be hot, or you wake up and it's cold, and then at night it's hot, or vice versa. So I always try to keep like a summery um, or a short sleeved clothing option. This is just a little romper. And then I try to keep a warmer option, which I just have these little leggings that go with a little short sleeved shirt. It never really gets too, too cold in here, although we did have a couple of snow days, which is just crazy. Um, but yeah, and then I just keep some socks. And usually I only keep two pairs. I don't know why there's three in here. That's a little excessive. But then again, you can never be too prepared with kids. So that's it, you guys. Um, that's really all I have. And 
there are okay so when i mentioned that there's no pockets on the outside for like a water bottle there actually are some pockets on the inside of the bag and it's hard to see because it's black but um there are some where you can stick a water bottle on the inside of the bag but they're not very big so i'm not really sure what you can really fit in there but they are there if you need them so that's it you guys that's everything that i have in my diaper bag and again this is the honest company uh backpack city backpack or something like that i'll link it down below um you can find it at bye bye baby you can get it at target um obviously on the honest company website they have it there as well and my old bag that i used um as a diaper bag which i used for the first two months um it's still being used i'm actually using that as my pumping or my nursing essentials bag if you guys want to see what I have in there because I am a breastfeeding mom so I have to make sure that bag is with me at all times if you want to see what I have in there I am planning on uh, filming that next and um, yeah I'll just kind of walk you through what I have in there and like I said that bag is like my holy grail bag because I have to have that with me at all times at work I carry that to me I carry that with me on a day-to-day -day basis I keep it in my car so I will go over everything in there as well so stay tuned for that and that is it you guys that's everything in the bag thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe help me get to 1000 subscribers i know you guys can help me out with that so please 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 subscribe like share comment down below anything you want to see like i said i'm going to be doing more vlogs uh mommy videos like this one if you have a suggestion or something that you want to see if you want me to do a q a let me know i'm open to anything so just let me know and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys